Hi everyone, it's Emily. And it's Teresa, and we're the Unicorn Society. And today we are back again, and we are having something a little more health conscious and nutritious today. And what we're having is salads from Tender Greens. So what I am having is the hot plates and it comes with a side of salad. So we chose the baby spinach with some vinaigrette dressing, ricotta cheese. And this is called the crostini and some um, salt and pepper chicken as well as the side of mashed potatoes. And I ordered the tuna niswa. So the tuna niswa usually comes with baby greens. But today I subbed it for kale just to get more nutrition and green into our system. Mm -hmm. But it comes with um, one quail egg, some slices of seared tuna, um, a crostini as well, and a lot of other things that we'll go into later like potato, green beans, olive, capers. Mm -hmm. And as for drinks, we're going to have um, the agua fresca today. And we got it for free since we did the Yelp check-in. So yeah, it was a pleasant super surprise. Good deal. <laughs> yeah, um, and then sorry in advance if we are a little bit low on energy today because <laughs> we actually just came back from Lightning in a Bottle, right? Yeah, that's the music festival in the Central Coast, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Except I lost my voice and I'm just like, sore, sore, right? Sore <laughs> and then lack of sleep and all that. So. That's why we're having a more nutritious meal today yeah. to replenish ourselves. You only got two hours of sleep last night, right? Yeah, I only got two hours. <laughs> <I'm so tired. laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to eat. My body needs this right now. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah, let's just dig in. Oh, I'm excited to try the chicken. You said this is like one of the best chicken. Yeah, there, right? I love the chicken there. The salt and pepper chicken. It sounds so like simple, mm -hmm. but it's just so tender, so delicious. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take yeah. It. We'll just. Yeah, we'll just eat from the other bowls. This is delicious. Super flavorful. Right? It is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the herb that's like basically smothered on the outside yeah. from the chicken skin. It's perfectly roasted, and when you get a little bit of the skin, so much juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll have some beer. Spin it just one. Mm -hmm. How do you like the salad? I like it. It's so refreshing. And the vinaigrette is not overpowering either. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get some of the cheese. Oh yeah. I love mm. cheese in my salad. So the hot plate is really amazing. You, how you usually order it is you get to pick one meat. You can pick from the steak, the chicken, um, some other things, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And then for the salad, you could pick from kale, arugula, spinach, lettuce. Mm -hmm. And oh. each one has a different set of um, dressing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and try the aqua frisca. We're yeah, not I'm sure what it. flavor this <laughs> is, but I'm guessing it's melon. Yeah, it looks like melon, right? It looks like cantaloupe or something. Yeah, but it has a little bit of a tart taste as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it tastes like a little bit of lime. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a mix of the melon. Thing. Yeah, but it is so refreshing. This is amazing. Talking about cantaloupe and melon, I just came back from um, Italy, and oh, yeah. my absolute favorite dish from Italy was melon with prosciutto. Mm -hmm. That was like my absolute favorite because mm -hmm. there's just something about their melon that is so juicy and like sweet. It's like a different type of melon. It's not like the cantaloupe mm -hmm. that we have here. And I had it too um, when I went to Italy last year in October. Mm -hmm. um, the prosciutto with the melon and the combination together is just so refreshing. It is so yeah. refreshing while still unctuous and wholesome. Exactly. Yeah. You still get like your little bit of a meat craving. And I never knew that the combination of the a little bit salt from prosciutto plus the sweetness of the melon and the juice pairs so well together. Mm -hmm. So if you ever get a chance to go to Italy, you have to order that. It's a must. I want you to try them. Yeah, try that first. Oh, I'm gonna take a bite of crostini. Yeah. Mm. The crostini here is really good. Oh. The way that they season it with all the herbs on it. Mm -hmm. It has it's a little delicious. bit of a garlic buttery taste. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. garlic bread. Mm. And sometimes it gets a little bit hard because, you know, we had to take it home. Mm -hmm. But when you have it fresh, it's really great. The flavor is amazing. I love the hot plate because you get to go between different things. Yeah. We just tried the right. Oh, yeah. We just tried the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes here are to die for. It looks really buttery. Mm. Mm. Isn't that so good? 
It's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not your average fast food mm -hmm. mashed potato. It's like, like a homemade style, country style. Exactly. Yeah. It tastes really freshly made and wholesome. You can actually taste mm -hmm. the actual bits of the potatoes yeah. in there. And it, when you look at it, sometimes you do see some of the peel a little bit. So it really gives it that homemade it's feeling. It's delicious. And it's not overly buttery where mm -hmm. you feel like you're overindulging either. Yeah. yeah. And it's so good that you don't need a gravy on this one. Oh no. Yeah, for it's not, great on its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was a little bit I was a little bit um iffy about it too. I was like, it doesn't come with gravy, but <laughs> The flavor by itself is awesome. Yeah, I love dipping it together with the bread as well. Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> Let me try that as well. I don't know if you guys can see from camera, but I am pretty sunburned. My <laughs> nose and like my face. I have like three shades of color on my face right now from the yeah, sun. Yeah, I look pretty tired. Yeah. Cool. And my lips too are just completely dry. You just can't see it this far, I hope. <laughs> the place was out in the desert. Mm -hmm. So it was, we had to camp out. There was no other choice. You can't like book a hotel or anything like that. Yeah. So it was like basically two days living in a tent, like covered in hay dust and just like really, really hot weather, like sun beating down. But it was worth it. It was just so much fun. Cool. What was your favorite part about lightning in the bottle for people that have never gone before? Mm -hmm. So like Emily was saying, lightning in a bottle is super unique mm -hmm. because it's a lot more like indie and like out in the desert, um, but not not as like um, intense as Burning Man. Because <laughs> the weather is still like way more temperate. It's not like 110 degrees or whatever. Mm -hmm. We've never been to the Burning Man, by the way. But one of my favorite parts is how the festival runs through the lake. So it's really amazing because you can go from one part of the festival to another um, over a bridge mm -hmm. and crossing water. And we brought our floaties and we were able to um, go in the water and just float along the lake. Yeah, and one of awesome. our friends is so sweet. She bought each of us a unicorn floaty. Oh yeah. So we each get our own and I was like <laughs> so happy. Oh my god, this is the cutest floaty ever. And I also got like two donuts as well. Mm -hmm. So we just like brought it out to the lake one of one of the days and then just kind of float on the lake and just relax and enjoy ourselves we should have brought it today but we'll bring it next time so yeah, we can, next time we'll show it to you yeah guys. we'll eat with our floaties <laughs> mm. also another thing that i really really liked about lightning was how there was a lot of hippies there and mm -hmm. they really took a more um like a health conscious slash like spiritual spiritual as well as environmental friendly mm -hmm. approach where you have to divide the trash into different types and then there's like so many spiritual classes such as yoga there's kundalini yoga how to start a fire mm -hmm. how to do what is the rope thing called like cordage like cordage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like tarot card reading things like that just like very different so there's like classes meditation throughout the whole day and of course there's like the music part as well like in different stages but everything was just surrounded by nature it was really beautiful mm -hmm. so for those of you who want a more relaxing experience out of a music festival i will say this will be the choice for you yeah because i would say compared to coachella or edc this is probably like the most relaxing one i've ever been to so far so i've been to yeah edc and coachella and I'm sure you guys are familiar if you go to concerts or music festivals, you see trash everywhere and water oh, bottles yeah. on the ground. Mm -hmm. This one, you don't see any at all. <laughs> because I think if you had a bottle on the ground or you threw something, I think everyone would look at you. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right. It's super <laughs> frowned upon. <laughs> yeah. And everyone is just like really, really considerate with one another. I feel like people are really nice there. Yeah, people are really nice. And even like if you take a shower there, they're like, oh, please limit your time to five minutes because we want to conserve it for everybody else to use mm -hmm. so yeah and there were yoga classes every hour like in mm -hmm. two different places so i took yoga um, every day like two yeah twice that's awesome mm -hmm. there's like so, also a lot of meditation tent where people just like lay there and relax or they play like you know maybe something relaxing or they dip the gong what is that the gong the gong and you just like lay there and meditate <laughs> That's a really, really interesting experience, so I would recommend you guys to try it out. Yeah. yeah. And so something else that happened too was that I took yoga two days in a row mm -hmm. and with our friends. And our friends 
Two of them cried. <laughs> the class. Who's the other person that cried? Who was that? Oh, Zach cried. <laughs> Oh, now you I didn't know. know that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. And, and our friend Julia. <laughs> like totally on them. Mm -hmm. No. But because they cried because it was so beautiful. Yeah, the experience was so profound. You I faced one yeah. side and you saw mountains. Mm -hmm. And they were gorgeous. And you faced the other side and you had the water. Mm -hmm. So you felt really connected to the earth as you were doing yoga. It just brought yoga to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Shall we start? On yeah, this? Let's, let's try this one. I cannot stop staring at this album. No, it's so gorgeous. It's so like fatty and thick. Mm -hmm. and Amazing. I think like you were saying this is like an awesome deal because mm -hmm. it was only what like twelve dollars. Twelve dollars and you have seared tuna in there. It's like three incredible. huge pieces and like they this whole huge plateful of like goodies. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah. I didn't get a knife. Oh, um, it's okay. okay. We'll just take a bite. <laughs> take a bite. Cheers. <laughs> that was a huge piece. Cheers. <laughs> like a fat piece. Mm. Wow. Isn't that great? It's cooked to perfection. Yeah, so perfect. How about with the salad as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just so much nutrition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kale is probably one of my favorite dark color veggies. Mm -hmm. Me too. It's so good for you. That's why I always sub it for kale. Mm -hmm. And the tuna, it looks like it has, um, what do you think it's on there? Cilantro or parsley? Yeah, I, I think it's cilantro. But it has so much flavor on, on its own mm -hmm. that you don't even really need to dip it in a dressing or anything. Yeah, they put a little bit of an oil with some um, sea salt on top. You really taste the flavor of the of the food, like the mm -hmm. original taste of the food. And that's one thing that I learned when I traveled to Europe, Italy in particular, is that they really don't like to use that much seasoning on their stuff. You know how like Americans, we like to use a lot of sauces, mm -hmm. garlic, everything. Just barbecue. To, <laughs> right, to like enhance the taste. But for them, they like to taste the natural quality of the food. So whether it's tomato, whether it's like pasta, pizza, they use the most simple ingredients just like, you know, like tomato sauce or like cheese and mm -hmm. it, it's good, but at the same time, it's not something I'm used to because I'm so used to the heavy flavor. But like their tomatoes as well, it's just so fresh and mm -hmm. so delicious. Tomatoes and melons, mm, so good. The tomato here is really good too. All the vegetables are really good. They're, they have some salads that don't have any meat at all, but every single item is just really thought out and delicious. Mm -hmm. Did you get a green bean? I mean, my body is just absolutely craving for veggies because this tastes amazing. Yeah. I'm going to try a potato. This is a very balanced meal because mm -hmm. you have your protein, your veggie, potato as the carbs, some eggs, your fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I used to eat at tender greens all the time, like twice a week. Yeah. When I was living in Santa Monica, I lived there for three years and I ate there like twice a week, every week. Now I live in downtown. There's also another tender greens really close to me, but mm -hmm. And back then, I went so many times. I was the Duchess on, on Yelp. I think it was like a hundred and something times. Yeah, I can absolutely see why. Because for those of people who are a little bit more on the health conscious side, yet still want you know to get full, to get substance yeah. in their food, this is it. it. Has everything. It doesn't do it any justice to call it a salad place because if I tell my friends that, no one's gonna want to eat there. Mm -hmm. But as you can see with the hot plate, it, it is a lot of stuff. It's chicken, it's mashed potatoes, and it has a little bit of salad. Right. And their chicken is not, if you call it a salad place, they would imagine yeah. the food to be more bland. Like, yeah. especially with the proteins and stuff. But no, not at all. Like, the chicken is just mm -hmm. so jam-packed with flavor. All the goodies, like, goodness of the taste is hidden in the skin. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And grilled over the flame. Mm -hmm. so, delicious. Oh, yeah. And the steak here is also really good too. So if you like steak, you're not gonna mind that this is a sad place. Mm -hmm. Great steak, great chicken. 
What else do you order from here? Have you tried anything else from this place? Mm, they have a lot of different salads. Mm, but after a while, I just kind of make my own. I pick the greens and I pick the meat. Mm -hmm. And I alternate between the tuna, the chicken, and the steak. Mm -hmm. It's kind of going in circles. The soups are also super delicious as well. Mm -hmm. They have a good tomato soup, chicken noodle soup, but it's different every single day. So today it was a Thai mukbang with more <laughs> healthy food. <laughs> Sometimes like it's really interesting because you really if you listen to your body it'll tell you exactly what it needs. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, when you go grocery shopping or even like at a restaurant when you place an order, just really like ask yourself what your body is really craving for right now. That's probably what you need. Like right now, this just tastes absolutely amazing and it's just what my body needs. Like veggies mm -hmm. and greens. That's really great that we listen to our body. <laughs> yeah, because this morning when I came, woke up, I was thinking, what are we gonna eat today? I can't think of anything. It's like nothing mm -hmm. sounded good. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of like some maybe fast food options. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, no. no, nothing fried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I just couldn't think of anything. And then when you mentioned tender greens, I thought, perfect, that's my favorite. I just right. haven't had it in a while. <laughs> Yeah, salad is something that definitely grew on me as I aged. Because when I'm when you're younger, you're like, oh, salad, like I don't yeah. want veggies. So boring, right? Yeah. But, but then I feel like over time you kind of have to pick like what kind of salads you like and like explore a little bit more. Oh yeah, definitely. Because lettuce is no offense to lettuce, but I think that is probably the most boring one for me. You know. Mm -hmm. But then when you start exploring other greens that are more leafy, like kale or arugula, more nutritious, there's more flavor in the leaves. That's when I thought salad started becoming really good. Yeah. I also really love baby smooth spinach. Mm -hmm. That's another one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, another leafy dark green. Yeah. Isn't it true that the darker the vegetable, the more nutrition it has? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I mean, that's what they say. I don't know that scientifically. Mm -hmm. But it definitely has more than lettuce or iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't get over how good the albacore is. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Because you can go to a restaurant and get a tuna salad also for 11 or $12. But it would be the smashed up tuna from the can, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was shocked when it was this. <laughs> and so the crostini is really delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't have any more, which is really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Not a smaller piece. Yeah. But I'll let you in a little secret. Sometimes if you ask them for another one, they'll just give me one. So oh my gosh. Yeah, they won't charge you. Another one. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it always comes in it, you know? Mm -hmm. So then I never like, I, I I don't really always want it like that. Yeah. But I haven't had it in a long time and I wish I had like three more. <laughs> yeah. And what's really cool about this, the trick that you just taught me, I'm putting mashed potato on the crostini. Mm -hmm. Is that since the crostini has a bit of a garlic taste, it kind of tastes like garlic mashed potato. Yeah. To and, it together. Yeah, the butter from the mashed potato. Mm -hmm. And the garlic from the crostini. Mm -hmm. Great match. Great, great match. I have a new respect for tender green now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never liked it as much as, yeah. as I do, until, I mean, until now. Because, I don't know, maybe I just haven't ordered the right thing, but these two are just so and good. That's mm -hmm. mm. And that's what I want to tell you guys too, is that like from today and how I told you that I've been to tender greens like a hundred times, mm -hmm that you think I just eat salad all the time. That's not true. Mm -hmm. I've on, I only like this as a salad place, but other salad places, they all underwhelm me. I've never really been to a, a good place mm. where I'm like, wow, I love their salad. No, every salad is usually pretty basic. Yeah, it's and This true. one, the flavors are so developed and thoughtful that this is a whole nother game. Mm. I definitely feel like as I get older, my taste bud changes. And progress <laughs> because like yeah. I did not like albacore I did not I didn't care for salads before and there's just so many things that I grew to love mm -hmm. the time so like I feel like as a foodie it's important to give everything a chance mm -hmm. if not if you don't like it the first time maybe give it a second try third try 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Because before we came home today, it, through the door, mm -hmm. Grammy was like, I don't know how I feel about the albacore. <laughs> <laughs> Even today, you know? Mm -hmm. But you like it, right? Mm hmm So good. It's really, really good. I really appreciate the fact that as a society as a whole, it's becoming more and more health conscious. Mm hmm Yeah. So more of these kind of places are popping up and like, you know, coke was big because I mean, it's fairly healthy. Yeah. And yeah, like us as a nation, we are wanting to be healthier. So I like that. Yeah, one step at a time. One step at a time. Yeah, I think it's really great that we have all these offerings now that wasn't available to us, say, I don't know, 10 years ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. Things so then, have changed so much. Mm -hmm. And like the whole, active wear like lululemon mm -hmm. and like different like activities such as you know like hiking like biking climbing it, be yeah. it becomes like a trend now mm -hmm. it's trendy people like to live a healthy lifestyle you feel good you look good do you like um wait i forgot what it's called is it called athleisure yeah when you wear athletic wear uh -huh. like on the daily like kind of like what you're doing right now <laughs> That's my little secret is that. Yeah. You know that's what it's called? Athleisure. Athleisure? Is that yeah. a style? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what I you're doing right now that. is called athleisure. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I do is because I just feel so comfortable in my work mm -hmm. and that sometimes in the afternoon I just go work out anyway, so why not just store it on in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was watching a tutorial on YouTube um, by Wendy, you know Wendy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of the tips was if you wear a um, athleisure <laughs> or athletic wear it just makes you like more prone to working out because you're already dressed so it's now true. you can run now you can hike sure why not I'm already dressed for it <laughs> 110% I agree with that mm -hmm. and also athletic, athletic wear are so comfortable mm -hmm. yeah I feel super comfortable in them I don't have to try too hard and you can buy like really cute stuff too colorful stuff. yeah super cute super sexy <laughs> everything and that's the thing with Lululemon is that when you buy really cute stuff or things that like active wear that you really enjoy wearing, it actually motivates you to want to work out, you know? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like a placebo effect, like a mentality kind of thing. Yeah. Here, try the Quelle. Mm. We should do a Quelle. Cheers. Quelle. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I love Quelle. Mm -hmm. It's just like a nice like um, cherry on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A little something extra. Yeah, the salad just has so many little details. Mm -hmm. There's Including, so many little hidden things. Yeah, all like the capers. Mm -hmm. I'm almost sad to finish my food. <laughs> <laughs> we can go again tomorrow mm -hmm. and the next day. <laughs> Love them. I think this concludes our mukbang. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Sorry about our throats and how we <laughs> look. It was such a crazy weekend. We had so much fun, but at least we got to enjoy all this great salad. I know. <laughs> I hope that you can enjoy like a little bit of a more health conscious approach sometimes to our food. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you can continue to support us and comment down below. It will really mean a lot. And let us know what you would like to see us eat next. We might just fulfill a request. <laughs> Thanks guys, bye! Bye!